Welcome back to Warzone Workshop. Today, um, going through some of the stuff in my collection, um, uh, as you might know if you've watched the channel. Uh, I'm a gas blowback type of guy uh, for the most part. I do some AEG stuff too, but mostly my collection has become gas blowback rifles. Uh, and from all but this one, WeTech. Uh, you get them and then you upgrade them. That's just kind of how that is. And like we tech gas bull by pistols, like this Glock 34. Love this thing, fantastic. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, as I've collected a lot of airsoft guns, I've collected some that just weren't right for me. Uh, I went through uh, some weird phases while I was collecting airsoft. Uh, I started with uh, a Beretta. Uh, it was actually a Beretta M93R. It was uh, unfortunately stolen during a break-in, but nevertheless, I I, uh, I thought Berettas were cool, so I started buying Berettas. I picked up some Beretta M9s, like this one, uh, and a bunch of magazines for it. Picked up one of these, and then I was like, that's cool. So I started picking up more. So I picked up this Beretta M9. Got a Roni kit for it. Uh, I got an extended mag around here somewhere. It'll be added to this. I'm going to be selling all of these guns, plus a box of parts for Glocks with a bunch of, piece, a bunch of parts, aftermarket stuff. Um, there's... There's a lot, and to list all of it would be difficult, but uh, I guess we start with like some of the cheaper end stuff. This is the only plastic gun. It's a, uh, it's a, a kind of a bl half blowback type thing. Um, it, was, it was a gun that I picked up. Um, the magazine's actually never been used. I, uh, I had picked it up let, as a borrow gun for games, you know, let someone borrow it if they need a pistol. Uh, the magazine had been lost. It took me forever to hunt one down. But that's this thing. It's uh, made by uh, KWC. It's a SIG P226. It's actually trademarks. Um, then you got this uh, Mac 11 gas bullback. Fires from the open bolt. So when you pull the trigger, the bolt closes and bam. Uh, the magazine for it, it's KWA. Um, and I believe it's an NS2 uh, gas system. I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. Uh, I have two of them. I'm gonna keep the one that has the suppressor, and I'm gonna sell this one. Uh, that doesn't. This has the. Um, it says the uh, plastic uh, nozzle. The the other one has a uh, this multi-stage metal one that isn't that great. But this one I'm gonna be selling. Stock is removable. If you wanted to do that, um, also it's collapsible. If you want to do that so it's, it's a cool gun uh the magazines all these magazines need maintenance they that's primarily the reason i'm having to sell a bunch of it is i just i have too many mags i got a, a stack of extended glock magazines over there that i haven't had to, any time to work on let alone beretta mags that i haven't touched in f four or five years uh, here's a glock 18 we tech black and silver and it works yeah Glock 19 we tech pretty sure this won't work. most of them work they worked the last time I used it but that was like four years ago Glock 17 a lot of them are you know missing things here or there it's scuffed up like this one's missing its front sight um, here's a Makarov we tech Got two of these, so I'm gonna be selling this one. Oh, man, I, I got a bunch of different mags here. Mostly uh, these are parts magazines. A lot of them are just you know missing. Like this one's missing the the top lips. Uh, this one's missing the spring and the follower and the top lips. Some of them are missing the valves and whatnot. Uh, these are high kappa magazines. Got a couple of those. Here's a high kappa salient arms high kappa. Here's another Beretta. This is a KJ Works Beretta. 
This one, uh, it works every now and then. It's a part stem that I just never had time to fix. Never had time to work on. This one works perfectly. This one works perfectly. And this one works perfectly. Uh, this one should be perfect. Uh, this one should be perfect. This one's perfect. The rest of them all need, you know, they all need maintenance. I just don't have time for it. Oh my gosh. Oof. Now, uh, somewhere around here, I have the original grips that came with these pistols. And if I find them, I'll be adding those. I'll be adding a bunch of extra stuff uh, when I sell it. Stuff that I just haven't dug out yet that I'll just get piled on. As the bidding goes on eBay, it, if it gets to certain points, I'll, uh, I'll make edits to the bid. And I'll probably add more pistols to it. Um, if the interest seems to be there, I also have a very large collection of, uh, of gas rifles. Um, and there's a few that I'd be willing to add to it if the bidding keeps, you know, keeps going up and seems like it's, you know, gonna go somewhere where it is gonna get the attention that it needs. And a lot of them just need love and affection. This is a... Uh, KCO2 by KJ Works. Got a one tiny mag for it, four of the larger gas magazines for it. Uh, green gas. That thing's wonderful. I love that thing. I, it's the only KJ Works gas rifle that I own, though. I have a whole studio develop, devoted to doing YouTube with Airsoft, and I just need to sell off some stuff that isn't going to be one in my collection like my private collection or the stuff that i actually take out to a game and two the stuff that i just don't have time to to work on um there's a lot of boneyard guns that i have that i really want to get fixed up and i just i don't have the time for them uh, so i'm hoping i can sell some of these to get some parts to fix up some other stuff and hopefully these will end up in a home where they'll get the love and affection that they need. I also got this part, uh, box of Glock parts, um, slides, uh, inner workings for the hammers and whatnot. I got a bunch of frames, uh, mostly VTEC parts. Uh, one, one of them is a brand new lower frame for a KJ Works Glock 19. Pictures down below, also links to my YouTube channel. Um, of course, you'll find this link in the video uh, in the, the eBay listing. Um, there's other stuff that I will add to the the listing as it you know if it you know builds and builds. You know, I I, I would add more. To well, with that, I hope I'll see you next time in the war zone. Uh, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in some of the stuff I do here and check out some of the other videos. Uh, this is the first time I've ever sold any of my airsoft stuff uh i've never done it um i i buy a lot on ebay uh like you know for instance this uh sr union glock 18 i bought this on ebay along with almost everything that i have here today <laughs> that i'm selling uh this 18 will not be in the listing unless it gets to a certain point and then i might just drop this in just to surprise whoever ends up getting it um needless to say those announcements may or may not happen uh, to the actual auction. You might just find a couple extra surprises in the box. I like to do stuff like that. Of course, I'll make a video out of it, and it'll be fun for me to just add a few extra things to whoever ends up buying it and hope that they enjoyed them as much as I have. Um, I just wish that I had more time to spend working on them because, honestly, it's... It's a real passion for me. I have a studio devoted to it. I just, I just don't have the time to devote to it. So with that, I hope you enjoy the auction and I hope that you win. Um, there's quite a bit here. I don't know where to begin with pricing it. So I'm probably just gonna throw out a ballpark number and start the bid there. Uh, and that ballpark number is really just to get started because I have no idea how much it's going to cost to ship. Uh, I'm not going to be shipping to uh, anywhere outside the continental U.S. I wish you luck with the bid. 
and I'll see you next time, hopefully, in the war zone. <laughs>